Are we rolling? Perfect. John. We good? One go. One clap. No, that was good. That was good. I've only made one video before, Matt. <sighs> I can't stand working with rookies. YouTube, how the fun you know, Nate has Nate Shot today. I'm bringing a brand new video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I could not be more excited to be joined by my partner, John Robinson, the president and COO of 100 Thieves for his second YouTube video ever. This is a really big deal. Today's a huge, huge day for 100 Thieves. Momentous day. It's These something are... that, and the problem is that you keep cutting me off. It's very hard to use for the audio. Is any of this going to be usable? Yes. Yeah, some of it? 100%. Okay. YouTube by the fudge. Okay, shut the up, John. YouTube by the fudge. You don't get nature out today. Thank you for having me back. This, is, this feels like a big deal. I, I'm still like an amateur, but yeah, it's good to be here. Well, we have multiple announcements. Oh, yeah. It's not just one. We have two really big announcements that we want to share. You ready to share what those are? No. Tell, okay. me, tell, tell, me, tell, me, how a, tell me how a business works. Okay. Okay? Because we're a startup. Yep. And obviously, you need money to execute on all the objectives that your company has, right? With the amount of money you spend every single month and how much money you earn, obviously there's a differential there. Yes, the thing that people should, should understand is- I shouldn't be explaining yeah. this, you explain it. The thing that people should understand is we are not yet profitable. When you think about it, it's like our business is doing really well. Sponsorships is doing great, apparel is doing great, but like when you think about how much money we make from those, and then when you think about all the things we're spending money on, so like all of our players and all of our staff and what we're doing in apparel and what we're doing in content, we're obviously losing some money each year. And we're making our way towards profitability, but the great thing is with today's announcement, we know that we now have the capital we need to get all the way to being profitable and to seeing this through to what we, what we think it ultimately can be. The evolution of 100 Thieves, like it all kind of kicked off when you had this idea and you knew that you wanted to build it into something big, but it obviously took a lot of money. Thanks to Dan Gilbert, he helped give us the money to buy the first League of Legends franchise and then helped bring on our very first employees. Drake and Scooter saw the progress that we were making and they said like, what are you gonna do with this? And we told them and well, they gave us some more money and then we went out and we accomplished the things that we said we were gonna go do. So we had our Series C, Yep. then we had our Series A. Correct. And today we are announcing our Series B. All right, so make the Actual announcement. Actually, yeah, you say it, you say it, because you did a lot of hard work on this. We have raised $35 million from Artist Capital Management. Oh my God, that's a lot of money. $35 million. I never seen so much money in my life. It hit the bank account, and I thought we were about to run up a check. But then John said we have to be fiscally disciplined or financially disciplined. Fiscally responsible. Fiscally yes. responsible is yes. the exact phrasing he used. Yes. That's a lot of, that's a lot of zeros, a lot of commas. And a lot of ends. It's a lot of responsibility. It is a lot of responsibility. It is a lot of responsibility, which I don't like that word. It's like Spider Man. Oh my God. <laughs> is that how that works, John? Right. With great power becomes great responsibility. Honestly, at this age, I really am Spider Man. You are Uncle Ben. What's your old Really? Yeah. The thing that people should understand is, is a startup is a young company. Obviously, everything that we do takes a lot of money, right? And so like the buying the League of Legends franchise, paying for all of our players, growing our company, growing our staff, um, requires a lot of money. I think Artist was able to see the progress that we were making as a company throughout 2018. And then that's really how the conversation started. And they said, well, you know, like what's the ultimate vision? Where are you going from here? And as we got to know them and you shared like your, your ideas for the company and you know, we talked about how we were gonna accomplish those things, that's why they entrusted us with the 35 million. Absolutely. $35 million, what specifically are we going to do with that? The second big announcement we're making today is we now have a new 100 Thieves headquarters. You probably were a little confused as to why we were sitting in an empty building with this wide camera angle, but we wanted to show off what's behind us and where we're at right now. Two years ago, we started in the Rocket Mortgage team house with four employees. Then we quickly outgrew that space and moved into a new office and our team doubled. And then we doubled again and then moved into another office. And now, for all the ambitious goals that we have and all the capital that we have, we now have the ability to have our own permanent home, which will field all of our players, 
all of our teams, all of our coaches, all of our staff members, really the entire business, the entire 100 Thieves universe will now function in one place and one place alone. And this is our new facility. This is the new headquarters where everything will take place. Yeah, one of the hardest parts about the business right now is we got our League of Legends team in one house. We have our COD team somewhere else. We've got our business team here working in a bunch of different offices. And now we get to bring everybody under one roof, see everybody every single day. And I think that that's gonna be pretty amazing. Yeah, I hope so. I get my own office, though. Last year, we said we were going to get into more esports, and we said we were going to win championships. We did that. League of Legends, Call of Duty, two-time back-to-back major champions. Fortnite, we have the second biggest presence in terms of competitors at the Fortnite World Cup, which will be taking place in about a week. And in League of Legends, even though our team hasn't played as well this year, we were number two overall in payroll, which just showed our commitment to competitive esports is as big as it's ever been. I'm not embarrassed by it because it's like, we made the right decision and we made a big investment for our fans and for our company that we wanna be successful in League of Legends. Sometimes those things are gonna work out like they did in COD. Sometimes it doesn't work out in League and the team struggles a little bit, but I think our fans should know. It's like, we're not, we're not going cheap. We're not cutting our budget. Like in the games that we play, we're going big. And that's why in all three of those, you can see like, you know, our commitment and our teams are playing well. We're absolutely doing everything we can to win. We actually just made a very important hire for the lifespan of 100 Thieves. Jacob Toft Anderson is our new VP of Esports. He's joining us from previously at Optic Gaming. And so that's why we're excited to share with you that we will be expanding into new esports titles over the next year. I think next we should talk about apparel. I think the biggest announcement that we have is Doug just joined the company uh, like two weeks ago. Douglas Barber. He's joining us from Raining Champ, which is a streetwear athletic brand out of Vancouver, Canada. And they have made some incredible waves in the apparel industry for the last few years. Well, when you look at like what the company was good at before, like you obviously came from an esports background and you obviously had done a lot of content. Apparel was still really new to the company. And this is the first time that we've hired somebody that has a huge amount of apparel industry experience. So we're definitely excited to uh, hand over those responsibilities to Doug. And I think we've got some really, really exciting things coming in 2020. So we've covered esports and we've talked about apparel. I think the one that I'm really excited to talk about is uh, how well the content team has done lately. The content team has done a phenomenal job with two employees starting in January of 2018 to now over 13 full-time content producers, editors, everything under the sun when it comes to production. We went from uploading one video a week, I would say, four videos a month, to now, we, I think our best month yet, we uploaded over 20 videos in one calendar month, which for an esports team, that production and that output is just unbelievable. Well, like very, very happy with, you know, our, our team and increasing the cadence and like making more great content, but a lot more, a lot more coming. All of this that we just talked about, like the success that we've had in esports and the success that we've had with our content and the successes that we've had with apparel, it's all still very much like on a small scale and we want to grow all of those things. I just realized that my pants this entire time were like way too high. They were like right here. No, they weren't. You weren't showing. If you were showing shin, I would have told you. You would have, you would have, you would have gave me the shin, shin alert. I would have been like, that's, Whoa, that's, bro. that's a junior. All right, John. <clears throat> what, no, what are you doing? I'm, uh, Don't stand up. Sorry. I'm that, just I, standing up. Oh, I thought this was like Sit a, down. All right. No, I'm just stretching my legs. I want to get a blood clot. I'm trying to be healthier. Okay. My cool. Apple Watch <laughs> wants me to stand up. I'm saying no Apple Watch. Thank you so much for watching today's video. A little more energy. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate all of you tuning in and listening to us share all this brand new information about 100 Thieves. If you'd like to make a donation to our OnlyFans account, <laughs> no, do you, you guys know what that is? Anybody know what that is? <laughs> You want to do the outro? Thing? No, you've done such a great job with this video. I want you to outro this one, John. Take it away. Well, I think that's about the end of the video. Well, no, no, I'm actually going to get this right. Well, I think that's a, uh, that's, <clears throat> I'm just going to keep rapping. Um, I think that covers pretty much all the announcements that we wanted to make today. I think you're gonna have to. You're gonna have John, to kick do the one, do the outro, man. Do it. Right. I want to go uh, home. Cool. All right, YouTube. Thanks for watching today. That is the uh, that pretty much wraps up our video. So our big announcements today: we raised thirty-five million dollars for the company. We have a new headquarters that's currently in the works. 
and all of your favorite things that we've been doing at 100 Thieves, we're gonna do more of for the next couple years. All good news. You wanna give it your shot? Oh. No, just end the f I'm not doing the outro, I told you. This is your second video ever. You need to get the experience. End the video. YouTube, see you fudging later. Goodbye. I'm not doing an outro. We got. You got to do the outro. No, this. I'm the. I, I no. I'm not doing an outro. Guys, thank, thank you so much for watching. Thirty-five million dollars, brand new facility, all great things. YouTube, we'll see you fudging later. Goodbye. Now they can't use it. We don't need an outro for me. That was great. That was perfect. That was awesome. <laughs> Ricky's like, get me out of here. <laughs>